welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am your host this afternoon. I am Dietmar Ostermann and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Today's episode brings us back to Napa Valley. Napa Valley. But today we're going to focus in on California Napa Valley blends, particularly the two cult blends of Napa Valley, the Prisoner and the Mahedi from Warren Swift. So here's the story. This all goes back 25 years. Dave Feeney, who founded the Orange Swift wine cellars in 1995, got the opportunity to study abroad in Florence. He decided to take that opportunity, went over there and got introduced to wine. He liked wine. He liked the wine making process. After he graduated, he came back and hired into Robert Mondavi and worked as a assistant harvest worker. He liked it, he got to know the operation top to bottom and how the winemaking process worked. He didn't want to work in sales, he wanted to work in vineyards and in uh, the winemaking operations. So in 1998, he said to himself, if I have to work this hard to make wine, good wine, I may as well work for myself. And so he started Orin Swift Cellars. The first wine out of the gate was the Prisoner. The Prisoner is a blend of mostly Zinfandel, but some Cabernets in here, some Shiraz, some Petit Shiraz, and some Chabot. In fact, 2000 wasn't even a great vintage. And uh, Fini thought, uh, well, maybe I can improve the wine by blending it a little bit. He made 385 cases and sold out every single one of them. The label of the prisoner in the shackles is a famous piece of art from Goya. His parents bought him an etching and he used that as the label for this wine. And the label and the whole entire theme lives on with the prisoner company wine company all the way today i had the opportunity four weeks ago when i was in napa to uh, visit the prisoner wine company and look at the new showroom and the new winery they built uh, after the constellation brand took over and uh, they invested into a showroom that just looks like nice but you know, carries the theme forwards of shackles and prisoners and dead bodies and skeletons and so on and so forth. Completely anti-cultural anti in Napa Valley. That's why everybody said it's not gonna work out, but boy, did it work out. After 385 cases in the beginning year of 2000, he sold the Prisoner Wine Company in 2010 as they were making 80,000 cases. He sold it for multiple tens of millions of dollars to another wine company. And then in 2018, I believe it was, prison was up to 170,000 cases. And the wine company sold for 285 million. In 2016, it was to the Constellation brand. That's the quick history of Prisoner. Prisoner now has expanded already under Fini, but even more so under Constellation brand into multiple other brands of the uh, Prisoner Wine Company. You see here, for instance, the Cuttings, which is a little bit more heavy on the Cabernet blend, or you say here the Thorn, which is a Merlot blend. Now, Fini carried on with uh, Orange Swift, Orange Swift is all about blending as well. There are some very famous wines in the Orange Swift portfolio. Here you see uh, Palermo. Palermo is uh, more of a Cabernet based wine. You see the eight years in the desert blend. 
looks already a little bit more like a Pinot Noir bottle. And in the meantime, other than Abstract, Palermo, and uh, Macheri, they do have uh, Papillon, which is a very famous um, uh, Napa blend. They have the Macheri, which is much more of a Cabernet-based blend and probably their prestige wine today. Um, they have the Mercury Head, which is a flagship wine, more Cabernet-based. And uh, on the Prisoner side, I'd say uh, the most famous wines is um, the Thorn Merlot, the Saldo Zinfandel, the Derange blend, and the Cuttings, as well as, of course, the Prisoner. And the Prisoner comes as a California red wine blend, as well as, as a Cabernet blend. The one we are tasting here tonight is the regular red wine Napa Valley blend. Mostly Zinfandel based, but also Cabernet Chirac, Petit Chirac and Chabon, Chabonneau, as mentioned before. The Macheri from Oren Swift, completely different profile of grapes. This one is more Petit Chirac 40%, Chirac 45%, Grenache as well as Malbec. Completely different grape profile. Let's check those out. I'm going to start us off with the Prisoner. Looking at the wine, garnet red, not see through, thick lines in the glass indicating high alcohol content. In fact, the prisoner has 15.2% alcohol, heavy on the alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Blackberry, elegant fruit. Not in your face, not as much as I would have expected. Blackberry, a little bit of um, plum. A little bit of black cherry in here. Nice profile. I also detect some vanilla, a little bit of oak, toasty oak. Let's give it a whirl. Fruity, elegant, balance is all I can say. Four palate, middle palate, final palate, and the uh, finish is just beautifully long and juicy and fruity. A little bit of licorice in it. Uh, predominant fruit profile, blackberry, once you have it in the mouth. A little bit of plum, a little bit of cherry. The vanilla comes through, very balanced. I like the wine a lot. Not much to complain about. This is the 2016, and I give it a 4.6, ladies and gentlemen. 4.6. 49.99 is the common going rate for the wine. The average Vivino score is 4.4. I'm a little bit above it. Let's do the Macheri. I like the label, Avant Garde. There is uh, 12 of these labels, the wine is always the same, but 12 of these labels that you can collect. And it's a more of a Pinot Noir shaped bottle. This wine, a lot more purple. In fact, if you're holding them next to each other, Prisoner is more reddish. And uh, the Macheri is even darker, more purple. That's probably the Grenache that comes through here, but also uh, the um, Petit Chirac and the Chirac are typically very dark colored grapes. Good looking, also thick lines. The Macheri too, 15.2% alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Clearly some plum in here, blueberry, blackberry, Maybe a little bit of boysenberry, but also cherries. I think there's a tick of chocolate, a hint. Let's give it a whirl.
very good. Here, front palate, very nice. Back palate, a tick too much acidity. The finish is not as long and round as in the Prisoner, but a good finish. The wine on the palate is uh, fruity, has a little bit of uh, licorice in as well, uh, chocolate, uh, cream de cassis, maybe a little bit of vanilla, but back palate, too much acidity, finish not as long, not as even keeled and balanced as I experienced the Prisoner. Very good wine though. I give the Mahedi a 4.2, but I'm sticking with the Prisoner a 4.6. The Mahedi sells for $52, common score for the 2017 in Vivino, and that's the one I tasted, 4.4. I give it a tick below 4.2. So my judgment is clear, Prisoner wins. Ladies and gentlemen, these are two cult wines that you cannot do without. You're going to have to be part of the conversation, whether you like them or not. Try them out. Chances are, because these are very, very approachable blends, you will like them. And if you like this show, press over here, like it, and over here, subscribe it. I see you next Sunday, every Sunday, 12 o'clock. Cheers.